Hello, we are discussing grass, wind, and particles in Blender. These three grass squares look similar, but if you apply some wind effect, their reaction will be very different. But before I demonstrate this, I'd like to show you what material I'm using for this tutorial, Grass Essentials. A big job has been done there by Blender Guru. Considering the price, it's not necessarily worth doing all of this again meaning modelizing and texturing 471 blades of grass. That's right, a blade of grass do not look like a hair. I haven't tested, but certainly that in addition to gaining in realism, you will save time rendering, just because one modeled blade of grass covers more surface than a hair. We can see there's a lot of different spaces. And more, it also includes some weeds. It's quite easy to use and tutorials are included. Ok, let's play the animation, with duration of 200 frames. I'll let you compare. And now, how it's made. On each square, a particle system has been applied, with hairs. They are used as guides for the blades of grass. The wind effect is created by a turbulence applied on an empty. This empty follows a path, that is this circle. The empty goes around the circle in 200 frames, creating the modulation. Let's focus on the first two examples. They are animated by the same mechanism, so why are they reacting so differently? Do you see the difference? No? Let's try a top view. Hey, look at what these guys on the left are doing. Do they wave in the wind? Absolutely not, they are rotating around themselves. Do they look like strands of grass in the wind? On the left square, there's a particle system with hair dynamics is off, rendered by strands of grass collection. On the right, it is rendered by an object, but the most important parameter is hair dynamics activation. It's better. Nevertheless, the stands are still rotating around their axis, but it's more acceptable. Besides, we also realize that they do not really undulate under the wind. They are not deformed. They simply lean, as if each strand was a rigid body. Let's now compare the behaviors of square 2 and 3. In the third, on the right, we see the strands are really distorted by the wind, they undulate. While on the left, by comparison, we see even better that they remain stiff in their swing. To better understand what is happening, I will display the hair no longer in the form of object or collection, but in the form of path. And for seeing even better, I will choose in Eevee a display of the hair in the form of strip so as to visualize them with the thickness I defined in hair shape. At this moment, the movements are quite similar. Just my setting for shiftness are a little different. So why on the right the strands undulate? Because they are defined as instances of the particle system. These modifier instances apply directly on the grass object, not on the emitter. Here are some of the most important parameters. First, Ask for instances created along path. Then after you could apply a position setting and its randomization. This affects the size of the instance along the axis. You can also choose randomization for initial rotation to get more variation. Now we get a real nice grass in the wind effect. To achieve this, we'll ask the particle system not to render anything, since this rendering is performed by the instances. Of course, these deformations are made possible because each blade of grass consists of several polygons. It is this geometry that is deformed. In short, wind in the grass can be created in three ways. If you do not apply dynamics to your system, you'll get grass that moves, but not at all realistically. Perhaps if grass is far from camera, it could do the job. The only advantage of this solution, it saves you the time of calculating dynamics.
because as soon as you use the two other systems, this calculation is unavoidable. Because of dynamics, it will be also more difficult to loop your animation. Regarding the calculation time, I did not see any notable difference between the system by object or collection and the one using instances. However, the instance system takes longer to implement, as you need to create one modifier for each blade of grass. I conclude by showing you results obtained thanks to Grass Essentials. I use the intermediate system, the one with dynamics but no instances. We can see some plants rotating on themselves for a brief moment. That said, in my opinion, the ideal would be for Blender to allow the grass strands to be deformed by the hair without to calculate their dynamics. All the solutions 1 and 3 grouped together. Bye.